in this tutorial i am going to show you the step by step process of creating this inventory tracking sheet in microsoft excel first of all let me quickly explain how does this system works here i have the stock in section where i can enter the transaction of stock in or purchase let me put here the date in the product name you can simply use this drop down to select the product if you have long list of product then you can search it by typing the keyword here then you can click on the product let me put here 30 unit and here you see the purchase and balance is updated for bluetooth speaker in this stock out section i can put the transaction of stock out let me put here one transaction product i will select bluetooth speaker quantity i will take here 4 unit when i enter this here here you see the stock is reduced to 26 unit and here in the stock summary we have to input the products that we have and their purchase price and selling price then the in out and balance will be auto calculated by using formula and here you can see the total purchase value total sales value total gross profit and total stock value these will automatically update as we keep on entering the details of the transaction if a new product is added in your product portfolio then you have to simply enter the new product here for example here i am entering earphone then i have to put the purchase and selling price here let me put here 230 and 250 now this new product will automatically reflect here in the product list here you see the new product is added so this is the basic structure of this inventory tracking sheet now let's start creating this inventory tracking sheet with a step by step process for this let me create here a new sheet here in a5 cell put the column headers date product name then quantity above it write stock in in the e4 cell write stock out below it just copy and paste this column headers in the i4 cell write stock summary and here write product name in this cell write purchase price per unit in the next cell write selling price per unit in this cell write total stock in in the next cell write total stock out and in the next write stock balance now select these three cells and merge them select these three merge select these six cells and merge now select the column headers then apply here text wrapping by clicking on text wrap make it middle aligned and center aligned now remove the grid lines from the sheet by going to view tab then uncheck these grid lines now select the stock in section then apply border select the stock out section apply border and select this stock summary here one extra column is added so let me on merge select till here and merge again then select and apply the border now select this column header and one more row then press ctrl t in the keyboard click on my table has headers then click ok this will convert this into table format similarly for stuck out also convert this into table format following the same method and for the stuck summary also now remove the filter buttons from here by clicking on the table then click on filter button now adjust the column width according to these headers now let me change the table design to a different one by clicking on this table design then select this one and here i'll give a different color highlight 
for stuck in i'll take this blue color for stuck out i'll take this color and for the summary i'll take this color increase the row height of this row number one and two we will display here the values for stuck in out gross profit and balance for this let's insert here a text box by going to insert tab click on this text click on text box then draw the text box here this way change the color of the text box to different one by going to save fill then choose a different color now click on the insert tab click on text code art take this one then write here total purchase value click on the border of this then reduce the font size by going to home tab then click on this decrease font option then put this above the text box by dragging select this old art and text box both by holding the control key then click copy this by pressing control c control v to paste it now drag this and keep it here similarly create another copy by control v drag this and keep it here control v then drag this and keep it over here now change this to total sales value change this to total gross profit and change this to total stock value after creating this now list out all the products that you have here in the product name section of the stock summary then put the purchase price per unit and selling price per unit of these products now to create a drop down list here to select these products click on this cell then go to data tab click on data validation from this drop down choose list in the source select the product names here while selecting the product you can take some more row so that if new products are added then it will reflect here in the drop down too then click on ok now you see the drop down is created simply copy this and drop down and click on this cell right click paste special click on validation click ok now this drop down is copied here too now we have to use formula here to calculate the total stock in total stock out and total stock balance but before that let me enter here some detail of the stock in and out transaction now to calculate the total stock in here use the sum if function press is equal to type sum if open parenthesis in the range select the product name range of the stock in table give a comma in the criteria select this first product name here in the stock summary table comma in the sum range select the quantity range of the stock in table close parenthesis and hit enter this will calculate the total stock in quantity similarly for stock out use the sum if function again press is equal to sum if open parenthesis in the range select the product name range of the stock out table comma in the criteria select the first product of the stock summary table comma in the sum range select the quantity range of the stock out table close parenthesis hit enter and you got the stock out total here to calculate stock balance simply press equal to click on stock in minus stock out press enter and the balance is calculated now this formula will be dynamic if you add here more transaction this will automatically update and if you add here a new product then the formula will auto expand now we have to calculate here the total purchase value total sales value total gross profit and total stock value for this here in this cell first calculate the total purchase value by using this formula press is equal to type this sum product function 
open parenthesis in the array one of the sum product select this total stock in range comma in the array two select this purchase price per unit range close parenthesis hit enter this has calculated the total purchase value now link this value here in the text box for that click on the outside border of the text box then click on the formula bar press is equal to click on this calculated value then press enter now this value is linked here in the text box make this value invisible by clicking on the cell go to home tab then change this font color to white color so that it will be invisible here now increase the font size of this by clicking on the text box increase font size make it center aligned and middle aligned now for the sales value in this cell use this formula press equal to sum product open parenthesis in the array one select this total stock out range comma in the array two select the selling price per unit range then close parenthesis hit enter now this is the total sales value link this value here in the text box by clicking on the border of the text box click on the formula bar press equal to click on this value then press enter now make it invisible by taking the white color then click on this text box click on format painter then apply this formatting here by clicking on this now to calculate the gross profit we have to subtract the purchase cost from the sales revenue of the sold products for this in the sale use this formula fresh is equal to sum product open parenthesis in the array one take the stock out range comma in the array two take the selling price per unit range close parenthesis minus then again repeat the sum product open parenthesis in the array one select the stock out range comma in the array two select the purchase price per unit range close parenthesis and hit enter this is the total gross profit now link this in the text box by following the same method now for the total stock value the formula will be here in this cell phrase is equal to sum product select the stock balance comma in the array 2 you can take any of the purchase or sales price if you want to show the stock value in selling price then select the selling price range if you want to show the stock value in purchase price then take the purchase price range here i am taking the selling price range then close parenthesis hit enter now do the same to link this here in the text box now here add the title of this format for this let me insert here a row then select till here merge these cells by going to margin center then here write inventory tracker system increase the font size of it by going to this option make it bold and apply the color highlight now we have to lock this heading part because when the transaction expand here we have to scroll the window down in that case the heading part becomes invisible for that click on this a7 cell click on the view tab click on freeze panes then click on this freeze panes option now if you scroll down the heading parts becomes locked let me enter here a new sales transaction here you see the sales value gross profit value and stock value is auto updated if you enter here a new purchase transaction the purchase value will auto update so that was all about the process of creating this inventory tracking system in microsoft excel if you want to practice this you can download the sample workbook file from the video description below 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up by tapping on the like button below and also subscribe to the channel to get similar kind of video updates in future. Thank you so much for watching. We will again meet on next tutorial.